Welcome to another episode of Here to Record, Show and Tell. This is the show all about the gear you need for live video production and live streaming. And today we're going to take a look at an inexpensive way to extend your camera. So we've looked before and you can watch a video about HDMI to SDI converters. And that's a good way to take your HDMI cameras or HDMI laptops or whatever and extend them pretty far over SDI cables. But the thing is that the HDMI to SDI converters, they can be expensive and uh, SDI cable, that can be pretty expensive too. So an inexpensive way to do the same thing is to use a Cat6 cable, which we have a big old roll of it here on the table, and then you use um, what's called HDMI extenders or HDMI Cat6 extenders. They've got loads of different names, but in this case, it's a HDMI extender. And what it lets you do is take your HDMI feed and send it over a Cat6 cable. And then on the other end, you turn it back into HDMI again and you plug it into whatever device you want, your switcher, your recorder, or a projector. So I'm just gonna take a look at this particular model that I have. In this case, it's an AGP Tech HDMI extender. You can find a link to this in the description if you wanna buy this one, or you can shop around on Amazon and you'll find a bunch of similar products um, that all work pretty well. So in this particular device, you have the sender and you have the receiver. And let's take a look at the, uh, the sender first. So what you do here with the, uh, with the sender unit is that you plug in um, power and you plug in HDMI in that port there. And what you have on this particular unit, once again, is HDMI loop out. So you plug in HDMI, you can get a feed of that HDMI back out again. If you wanna plug that into, let's say, um, a, a monitor by your camera or whatever that may be, a projector maybe. So you got HDMI in and then that goes to the other side which you plug in your CAT6 cable. And basically this sender takes the HDMI, converts it and sends it over the CAT6. Um, it's a pretty simple device. Simple device. You also have an IR out. Uh, I don't use that for anything but what you can do is send IR signals over the CAT6 as well. Just something to keep in mind. Um, and then you have a power uh, connection there. What's nice about this one is that it comes with holes so you can screw it down somewhere if you wanna put this in a position and keep it there. So let's take a look at the receiver next. Um, it looks pretty similar, but basically it's like the opposite of that, of the other one. Um, you have, a, let's see, on this side, you have a Cat6, or that, in that case, you just plug in the other end of your Cat6 cable. So Cat6 goes in there. You have a little indication light on both of them that tells you if there's a link between the two. And then on the other side, HDMI out and IR in. So again, use the IR if you wanna send IR signals over the CAT6. In my case, I just send the HDMI. So basically what happens is, and I can show you this in, uh, in practice right now. Um, so I have a few things I'm gonna drag in. I have this uh, little monitor. I'll just put that in over here. Um, what you can see in that is a signal from my main camera. This HDMI cable is coming straight out of my main camera. So um, what I'm gonna do is just unplug that. If I can, there we go. And in this case, I want my camera, which is uh, coming into this HDMI cable, and I wanna extend that over the CAT6 connection. So basically, I'll take the, uh, the sender and, uh, and the HDMI in, I'll plug in HDMI in, and then I'll bring in a few extra things here. I have a couple of uh, power cables for the devices. So I'll plug in this one, there's one, and I'll just plug in the other one. There's number two. So now they're both plugged in. Finally, not finally, but the next thing I need is a HDMI cable. So in this case, I've just got a short HDMI cable that will go from the receiver and it'll go into my little monitor in the HDMI in. And obviously this is a very odd example. Everything is on the same table, but I think it'll give you a general idea of how this all works. And then I'll grab my CAT6 cable. I have a 30 meter cable here, which is plenty long enough for what I use it for. And I'll just drag it in, if I can get enough cable. And I'll plug one end into the receiver. There we go. And the other end, I'll plug into the sender. So what's happening now is the camera feed is coming out of that camera right there. It's sent over, uh, the CAT6 to the receiver, and then the CAT6 receiver, it 
takes it back to HDMI. And as you can see on the screen already, you can see me coming in over the uh, connection. Everything worked well. Um, yeah, it just, it just simply works. And that is a working example of how you can take a HDMI connection coming out of your camera and really extend it up to, um, up to 60 meters, it says on this particular product over Cat6. Uh, you might find a variation out there based on what cables you used and uh, what product you buy, but you can get roughly up to 60 meters. I've had up to 30 meters with no problems. Well, mostly no problems. Um, on the plus side, and I'll come to the downsides on a minute, but on the plus side of, of this, it's, it's inexpensive. Um, for these two devices, sender and receiver, I paid 36 pounds. For the 30 meters of cable, I paid 18 pounds. And uh, the difference is, if you wanted to go for the SDI version, you'd spend much more than that on the cable and the boxes. Um, also, on the plus side, you can take a feed and basically run it wherever you want. Uh, HDMI cables in live production, I would say don't go over five meters because often with uh, switchers and all that kind of stuff, you just get into a bunch of problems when you go over five meters. So this this will help you. You can use a couple of short HDMI cables in and out of the devices and then use plenty of cables. You can run a camera to the back of the room. I've used it for that. I've also used it to go from a presenter's laptop and bring a, a feed from that presenter's laptop all the way back to me in the back of the room. So it works both ways in that way. Um, and you can also use the, the loop out HDMI on this particular model. And then, so the presenter's laptop can come in through uh, the, the sender in here. And then you can loop out the HDMI and send it back to the projector. So then the projector still works in the room and you also have a feed from the presenter's laptop. Works really well for that. So on the downsides, I find it to be not the most reliable uh, unit. Um, even if I shake this cable a little, you can see, and I don't think it's my HDMI cable that's doing that. Um, these things, because they're so inexpensive, they may not be built that well. Um, I would trust them for my wide camera that I might not use that much, or a, a, a camera that I don't use that much. I would trust them for that. Um, I would trust them for the projection screen. For my main camera, I'm not sure I would want to trust them 100%. I've had the odd uh, frame that's just been, gone black. Um, I've, I've luckily never had to re-edit something because it didn't work, but it's just something to keep in mind is that if you're gonna go for inexpensive options, there's obviously gonna be a downside, and that downside is reliability. So use them with your own caution. But my experience has been pretty much positive. Um, I do have a couple of these things and I have used them before. I've since switched to SDI because I wanted to uh, make sure that I was 100% reliable. Um, and because one of the, the downsides of this setup, as you can see, is that you need two power cables. You need an extra HDMI cable, an extra cable, cable, cable. It gets kind of uh, not complicated, but it means you have to bring a lot of stuff. So if you go for the SDI version, you can just have one box and uh, convert one time. You only need one power source and then SDI comes at the other end and you can plug that into whatever you want. So there's plus sides and there's downsides, obviously. Um, but overall, I think these are a great way to start getting into uh, live production and running cameras a long distance. Um, I definitely say I would, uh, it's worth picking one up. Uh, if you have any experience with these and they've worked well for you or not worked so well, let us know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching this episode. Hopefully you find that useful and let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.